What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about some of the takeaways from the Madden 20 season and the Madden 20 uh, tournament that just wrapped up the Madden Bowl. So if you haven't been to my channel before, basically what I do is I try to uh, break down different things to help you get better at Madden, to help myself get better at Madden, and we kind of learn together as we go through it. In today's video, I want to talk specifically about the EA Sports Madden Bowl that just wrapped up, and I want to talk about some of the takeaways that I have uh, from that specific um, from that specific thing. And I'm gonna do some meta stuff, some meta breakdowns for you. Uh, just some, just talk different things that are related to the game. So hopefully you enjoy it. And if you like this video and you want more content uh, related to Madden, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so. You'll see here what I do on the opening play, in my opinion, is one of the most overpowered things that you can do this year in Madden. I talk about it in my Arizona Cardinals, and I'm going to do it pretty much open it up here. But basically what I do is you just want to have a corner route like Hardman is on right here. This play deep corner from the gun bunch. And then what I tend to do is I actually will just double team the guy farthest on the right side and then slide my line to the right. They The pros will do some different things. Um, with that, but with the throw on the run, if you have a good dashing dead eye quarterback like Patrick Mahomes, it works really, really well. And I can do a lot of different things, uh, a lot of different things with it, as you'll see here. One of the things I wanted to talk specifically about with the Baden Bowl is offense in Madden 20 and kind of what we saw and as I throw a terrible interception. But what we saw this year in Madden Bowl is we saw that the top players are running the ball consistently this season. And we've seen that kind of throughout all of the different tournaments. If I'm not mistaken, every tournament champion this season has made it a point to be a running oriented offense. And so I think that's certainly noticeable and certainly meaningful as it pertains to the way that you, you defend and also just as it pertains to the way that the run or the way that the game is played this year. It's a lot different than years past. Years past, mostly um, pros would be aired out attacks. This year um, is probably the first game that I can remember where it truly is a very run-oriented game. And so we have to adjust to that as Madden players. We have to adjust to that uh, defensively. Uh, I kind of want to be a little bit better on defense typically. And so what I've kind of what I've kind of started doing is trying to learn because defense this year has been really difficult for me, primarily because I can't do what I just did right there, which is stop with a run. Because of the way the pursuit angles work in this year's game, because of the way that everything kind of ended up working out. It's a lot diffi more difficult this year than it's ever been to stop the run. And so if you're playing, the big takeaway that I have from the Madden Bulls, number one, the best players in the world, the best players in the world run the ball predominantly. And they actually rely a lot on their user stick to be able to make plays and do things like that. The second thing that I want to encourage you to uh, take away from the Madden Bowl and that I'm taking away from my personal game is not only do you want to run the ball a lot, but the, t the, the offenses and the defenses that can stop the run and that can run the ball effectively are going to be dominant. The other thing that I want to talk about a little bit is some of the things that I witnessed with different defenses that I saw. And one of those things is that this is kind of something that I've seen for several years uh, in Madden. There was only one year that I can think of where this actually wasn't true. And that is that man defense, like two man under and cover two, those two defenses in conjunction with one another with the right adjustments are really solid base coverages this year, just like they always have been in years past. And this is why I wanted to talk about this today, because when you think about Madden, you think about different things that you can do to be effective. There's a couple of things every year that always works. The first thing is for run defense, you want to get your safeties involved in the run defense. That was why the cover four drop um, for many years has been one of the more effective run defenses. It is also um, a defense that people use right now. But you want to get your safeties involved in the run fits. This year, the way to do it is to come out and cover two man and then put them in spies from the nickel three, three, five wide. 
but in years past it's been basically just call a cover four and call it good. Another thing is the base pass defense, probably the most effective pass defense this season is by far the cover two or the cover two man. Um, co- cover two man is kind of the predominant man to man coverage. Cause you get a delay, you get a nice little bump and run coverage that is really effective cover two. um, Cover two, like just Tampa two, is really good because the cloud flats take away a lot of different things. Those corners sitting in those cloud flats are kind of one of the premier ways that I and many other people advise to take away the sideline. Another thing that really happened this year, more than any other year that I can remember, but it's still always been a thing, mobile quarterbacks at least in this year's game, are basically a necessity. Uh, In years past, you know, you've needed mobile quarterbacks, but not like this year. This year, it's a little bit more, it's just a little bit more of the the thing to do. And so what I want to encourage you to do is if you don't have a mobile quarterback, I think this, these are all signs. And what we learn every year in Madden, this is what I want to take away from the bowl, uh, the Madden bowl is every year we learn things that change how we play going forward. Every year we have what I call our takeaways, things that basically we're going to learn in an environment and we're going to take that out of that environment and apply it to another environment. That's kind of what a takeaway is for me. And so when I think of all the takeaways in Madden 20 and all the takeaways that I have from the Madden 20 bowl, the first thing that I take away is like I said, Tampa two defense, uh, is really kind of going to be the way to go. Uh, and I think it's the way to go just in general. Not just in Madden, but also in real life. Just because of the way that the defense plays it. A good cover two. Another thing that we've taken away is it's the Tampa two. And then having someone from the underneath kind of flow up into that middle middle deep zone. That's another key takeaway. Is, is to have something like that. Another thing to take away from Madden 20 is how important and how important it is to keep the quarterback in the pocket. So a good quarterback spy, a good contain, uh, a good contain defense is really important this year. It's more important than it's ever been. And so those are some of the things that I would take away. Another thing that I would take away, and I think this year it was really kind of brought back a little bit, but the under center quick pass game has always been something that's really important in Madden. But this year, more than any other year, because of how effective the running game is, if you can have a good under center pass game to go inside with your under center run game, to me, that is really um, another added element this year that we haven't seen in years past as much, um, that under center pass game. Most of the time, people are going to, if they're going to run the ball, they're going to go under center. And if they're going to throw the ball, they're going to go from the gun, the shotgun. This year... Really, what I've been seeing is because of how effective the running game is this year, uh, if you can have a really, really good under center pass, quick pass game, it's going to do wonders for you uh, as an offense as we go ahead and give up a a touchdown on the ground. Another thing that I want to talk about just briefly is what I say run concepts to take to the next Madden. And one of those things is what I would call uh, multi-purpose runs. Multi-purpose runs are runs that you can run in a variety of different ways uh, and a variety of different angles just using your left stick. One of the big things that I learned this year that I haven't done a really good job of in years past is not holding turbo uh, all the time when I'm running the ball. And I can make some really nasty cuts with my guys if I don't hold Uh, turbo and then when I want to cut I can use turbo to kind of explode that cut different things that you learn over the course of just you know just playing the game and everything but one of the things that I never really anticipated was how good under center passing would be and um, I'll show you that here so far tight slot and this what I like to do is run it flipped but um, but anyway I'll show you a couple plays out of this far tight slot but this is basically near close slot um I flipped the formation completely, but you'll see here with a good, with a good rollout quarterback, um, you can do some pretty cool things if you can, um, 
if you can get your rollout game on. And you're starting to see a lot of people do this. But really, yeah, of course, the, the lag switch just completely screws up my entire play call. But um, what I wanted to get at a little bit here with you guys is when you're running an offense, you have to understand this year, and I think this year was a really good teaching, really good teaching, but um, there's just a lot of different things every year that goes into running an offense. And so it's really, and if you take it, nothing else out of this conversation, what I hope you do is I hope you take this. When you, as an offense, right, when you go to design your offense in the next Madden, it's not so important to have money plays. It's not so important to have one play that's just the best way to go. What's more important is to have plays that work well off of one another, plays that set each other up. If you notice, a lot of Madden players this year, they literally ran... I mean, just a couple, just a couple of, of, of plays. Most players were running one or two runs uh, in tandem with one another to be very effective. And so I'm not telling you that you shouldn't have, you should only have two plays. But what I am telling you is that simple is always better when it comes to Madden. It's always better. It's always been better. It's always going to be better. If you can keep your offense simple and easy to execute, um, you can do a lot of different things with that. Um, here, I'm going to flip the play because this lag switch is absolutely insane. But if you'll, if you'll notice, if you have a good mobile quarterback, um, you can easily run these, these corner routes because as they run, you can easily just fit them in over the top but the the rollout corner routes and the rollout corner routes is really the primary way to pass this year if you haven't watched what michael skimbo was doing it is it's it's been it's always been something like x this play x spot here and what happens is if i have a good mobile quarterback You'll notice, watch what happens. I'm going to double team the nose guard, and then what's going to happen is my running back is going to cut block this guy right here. And I'm going to motion Watkins out, but I'm going to roll out, and I'm going to look for the corner route. There, I did not get a good animation. But um, if they blitz off the corner, then they force me to go away from the where I want to roll out. And that's that's kind of that cat and mouse game that you play. But as you as you go through it, what happens is... And here's a good, so then they start blitzing. Okay, so like right now, I'm anticipating he's going to blitz. And it looks like he's going to blitz off that left edge. And so what I'm going to do is ID that guy. And then I'm going to take my tight end and drag him across. And basically, it's going to be a two-man read or a couple-man read. And then I'm going to hit my guy. But having these quick passes in your arsenal is really, really critical to have. A lot of a lot of defenses this year, and what a lot of defenses do in general is they're going to blitz from. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this. If this guy would, if this once this guy passes, if he starts using a passing offense, I'll talk a little bit more about the pass defense. But what I'm seeing, and what I think everyone, what I think everyone has probably seen, is the rise of a lot of defenses that in here I'm going to show you but you can motion your this far tight set is just so powerful because of that route right there really kind of holds everything together but one of the other things I did want to touch on really quickly is this idea with route specialists this year Madden changed the game a little bit because Madden was no longer about the playbook that you ran in, in the sense of it didn't have as much to do um, with the playbook you ran as it did with the scheme you ran. The scheme you ran was, was much more important um, in the way that you use the plays together to fit into your overall um, arching thing. 
the way you use the rollouts, the way you use the formation, the way that you, if you notice with the bunch, and I'll show it to you right here, because this guy's running a little bit more of a heavy blitz defense, but let me show you the bunch here. And the bunch is still the most popular passing, the most popular passing uh, set. And I want to talk about why um, briefly here. So deep corner, the reason the bunch is so effective is because it leverages that traditional thing that I was talking about a few minutes ago with passing, which is the rollout feature. And so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to let any pressure come from that left side, and I'm just going to roll completely right. And so I'm, I'm banking on the fact that all of my routes are going to go right. I'm on a flood, and there he contained me. My running back didn't pick it up. But the other reason that the bunch is so critical or so effective is because with a couple of good hot routes, you can easily run this, you know, both ways. And I'm getting getting blitzed pretty good here. So I'm going to go to a max protect and hopefully Tyreek Hill will catch him. And he might get me intercepted there. Yep, he did. He's playing pretty good D. I'm playing pretty terrible offense, <laughs> trying to run the meta stuff and not running it as good. So this 2-3-6 will, though, I will talk about this briefly um, before we go into the half. Essentially what you want to do, and this blitz, I believe that this blitz will always be effective. DB fire two, and you just bring them right here. And then you take your guy, stand in the gap. And then you have the meta, what I would call the meta blitz. The meta blitz being the blitz that the blitzing defense that most offensive lines can't contain both of them. And you're going to send essentially a five, maybe six man pressure and get the edges. But what the Tampa 2 defense does and behind that is when you take the vertical hooks away. And if you leverage your safeties right, you can kind of manipulate your safeties a little bit. And they're gonna, it's going to take away a lot of what most offenses like to do. You see a lot of that over the course of my years playing Madden. What I've kind of seen as a general, general rule is you want to look for when you go into defenses. Um, and here I just can't, I can't even call play. So it's just completely irrelevant. But when you go into a, a new Madden, what you want to do is look for defenses that you can basically do the, the, the cover to the Tampa 2 stuff that we're talking about. Another thing that you'll learn is clicking in the right stick. Um, so when someone rolls out, what you'll do uh, or what I'll do and what most people do to send the spy is they click the right stick. This year, what you'll learn is in the running game, it actually pays to click the right stick in. Your your um, your deep third, like in the cover three defense, your deep thirds will come down once you click it in. The deep zones know to come down when you click in the right stick. It's kind of a cue, um, kind of a cue that the play is is breaking loose a little bit. And so I'll click the right stick in. As soon as I see run, I click the right stick in. And it tells everybody to go forward. Um, and so, now again, am I stopping the run perfectly? Not right now. Am I, you know, but these are just general things that you take away and you learn as you go. And this will help you. Um, and then we finally get it stopped. But you also, one of the things that I, and of course I wasted time out even better uh, because of the great connection. But um, one of the other things that I wanted to tell you is as you're crafting your defense, and these are all things that you just want to keep in mind. And what most, what I'm, another thing that I'm starting to see is most people at the, the difference between the professional players and the players that aren't professional. Let me see if I can get that. I almost got an interception. The difference between players that are good enough to be professional and players that are just average sitting at home is not the scheme. If you go on any YouTube channel, you can find um, one of the guys that I like 
what he's doing. And I don't like it in the sense that he's taking away people's stuff or any of that stuff. But what I do like is the fact that what he's kind of trying to do with his channel is he's trying to show you that you, if you work hard enough, if you look around the internet enough, you can figure out the quote unquote uh, setups. Used to be in Madden, you could come to a tournament and uh, nobody would know what what your setup was or what your version of something was. Nobody would know what you were doing. You could just show up and do it. Well, in, in Madden's now, what happens is if one person starts doing something, everyone knows about it by lunch because of the internet, because of YouTube, because of those those different tools. So I know about the Nickel 335 wide because I watched the Madden Bowl and I watched Young Kiv have success with it. I know about, and if I study it even harder, I can figure out exactly what the setups are. And so it's not necessarily, and a lot of people say, well, you're stealing from them or whatever. I don't really see it like that. I see it as, um, and that's one of the craziest Madden plays I've ever seen. Um, I don't really see it like that. I see it as you're studying film, just like you would in the NFL. You know, and you'll hear all the time coaches and different people will talk about how it's a copycat league. It's a copycat league. It's a copycat league. And, you know, that's kind of the way it kind of works in Madden. Madden's a copycat league. Um, I think everybody that won the Madden Challenge or everybody that won a tournament, if you go down the line, Madden Classic was Henry. Madden uh, Challenge um, or the Madden Club Championship was was Volterax. The Madden Challenge, I can't remember, or was Noah. And no, that was a draft champions. And then obviously the Madden Bowl. Three out of the four championships were run by people, who, or were won by people who were running the Oakland Raiders offensive playbook. So you can't tell me that everyone was running a, a scheme that was perfectly unique to them. Oftentimes that's not how it works. It's just not. And, and so what I want to encourage you guys to think about as you're crafting your schemes and different things, I would not worry so much about having your own special unique scheme. I think that's a lot of fun to develop it. And I think in general, you should try to develop your system, your scheme, your route combos or whatever. But the real key element is always an execution and having plays that complement one another. If you can do those things effectively, you're going to be able to be successful this year. You're going to be able to be successful in any year of Madden. As you see, I get screamed at right there because I don't max protect. So uh, anyways, guys, those are some of my major takeaways from this year's Madden Challenge. Another thing is the post routes aren't dead. You're seeing I'm having a lot of trouble here offensively. and But you'll see the post routes this are not – they're nowhere near uh, dead. This guy keeps doing this. I'm just going to catch him with verticals here. And, of course, Mahomes can't throw the ball to save his life today. And I got fourth and 30. Um, but a lot of people, when they log on, they think Madden is, you know, a lot of the things that change year to year. And that's true. A lot of things do change year to year, to year to year. But a lot of things stay the same. A lot of things stay the same. And when you're playing this game, it's important to understand that... When you're playing a game, that's absolutely ridiculous. A stupid connection is ridiculously terrible. I can't even go for, I can't even kick a field goal because I'm so worried about my internet right now. When you're playing a, a video game, sometimes it's hard to remember that principles carry a lot of weight. You've always been able to be press man-to-man -man coverage, cover zero, deep. Um, there you see the verticals route beating it deep you've always been able to beat cover four in a certain way those are things that have always happened in madden Let's see if we can't get a comeback here 
defense has always been around blitzing um, Tampa 2 style. This year, more than any other year, you can actually get away with not necessarily sending a ton of heavy pressure if you have a really good nose guard. There's always been different defenses like that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the predominant defense that has won out over time is the dime two, three, six or the dime one, four, six defense um, against the pass. And then against the run, the nickel three, three, five wide nine or the three, four odd. Okay. That's been the predominant defense that has won out. Obviously the nickel three, three, five uh, has still been effective as well. But my point is there are certain formations every year that carry over. And it's kind of a, it's honestly, it's kind of a, a short list when you actually dig into Madden history, when you actually dig into how the game plays. And so, therefore, next season, as you're putting together your strategies, your game plans, what I would do is take a look at what works this year and I would plan that it's probably going to work next year because the same things pretty much always work. HB dive has always been effective. HB stretch has always been effective. Um, inside zones always been effective. Now, some years the inside zones more effective than the outside zone. Some years the um, under center pat like there's years where they change a little bit, but as a general rule, guys, it stays pretty much pretty pretty much very consistent. Um, you want to get your safeties involved in the run game. You want to you want to try to use her the middle of the field on a defensive level, which is what makes cover two such a powerful defense. Because what I can do with cover two is if I if I use her it accurately, then I can. Um, if I'm a good user in the middle of the field, I can make a lot of things happen. Typically, what you want to do is you want to use her short to deep. What I mean by that is you want to start short, and then you want to recover deep because most people are going to run crossing routes or post routes because they get under the deep blues. And so you can easily, um, you can easily lurk them. I can't hot route anybody, of course. Yeah, I'm going to get dotted. Thank you. Somehow we're fighting through this miracle of a game. But anyways, guys, uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you, uh, take away from the Madden Bowl, is how cr how absolutely critical it is when you're playing this year's game, and when you're playing any game for that matter, to have the ability to, number one, pick up the blitz, and number two get you leverage the sidelines leverage the sidelines i can't stress how important that is if they're blitzing you all the time you know maybe you don't send five people out on a route maybe instead you send three you know skimbo has shown over and over in madden it's okay to have a really good passing offense with two or three really really powerful routes um but anyway, it's just really important to learn pass protection. Those are some of the things that you can't, you just can't learn. Um, and there you see another one of those power routes, that deep in route. But that that route combination, that three man route combination, where you have a deep vertical to pull the deep blues, you have a deep corner, and then you have um, that deep in route. That's one of the most powerful route combinations, and it will always be one of the most powerful route combinations um, here you see you can leverage him against zone as well if I want to send five out I can do that post routes are always going to be good streak routes are always going to be good this play right here verticals I'm telling you it's very underrated this year um, even though a lot of people do run it um, the check down to the running back is what I think is the most overrated under underrated route in the game, because if they're not, if they're not blitzing you, right? So this guy has, he was blitzing me, but he kind of backed off a little bit. And so he's not really blitzing me right now. If I leverage, uh, this and you see this little corner route, watch this to Tyreek. We'll just check it down get a couple yards.
Deep corner. Here's the rollout. Let him get out. Let him get out. Let him get out. Pass lead down to the right. That should have been a touchdown, but I think we just missed him. But anyway, with the um, with the Madden Bowl, big thing that I want I wanted you to take away. Every year in Madden, you need to know how to stop the run. Every year in Madden, you need to know how to run the ball effectively if you get into that situation. Every year in Madden, you need to have a you know a cover two or cover three defense that is just really um, and I would say a cover two cover two and a cover two man, um, but basically a blitz right, a blitz left, a six man blitz, and then a blitz off of those things. Another thing that I would say that you have to do every year in Madden is you have to develop an offense that it works well together. The routes work well together. They open up off of each other. It's not just it's not just one or two plays. It's not just one or two money plays, but they work well off of one another. As we throw our throw our game winning touchdown pass just a little bit too fast. But anyway, guys, those are some of the things that you have to really think about when you're putting together your scheme. And I think a lot of times it doesn't matter the formation. You know, part of the reason people like gun bunch so much is because you can, you can basically stop the blitz on both sides. What, what, what I'm going to tell you to do is find a formation that works for you. Find a formation that works for you. Most of the time people are going to run a base aligned defense against the pass and they're going to run press coverage. So find something that works well against that. The meta this year is the meta every year in the sense that it's a it's a game in which if you send six and you can get home with one, you're going to speed up the internal clock of the quarterback. So I've never seen an offense that hasn't been under pressure at the top stage. You have to get your blitz pickups down. You have to get um, you have to get your reads down. You want to run a finite number of plays. You want to use field spacing. And when I say field spacing, what I mean is it's not so much about having a specific route as it is having a couple of different routes that work really well off of each other. So if you run a corner route, maybe you come back and run a post route to the same person. Most defenses are going to try to stop you with cover two. So if you're a passer, you need to be able to beat a cover two blitzing defense. If you're a runner, you need to be able to beat a cover four style run defense with spies. Those are kind of the things that you want to think about. But those are takeaways that I had for the Madden Bowl. And the biggest thing that I want to remind you of is Madden is a game that where the methods change, but the principles stay the same. 